Hi guys, Steph here. Okay, what we've got for you is a lovely pen today and basically there's two reasons to show this pen. One, somebody asked me to review the pen and secondly, I've received a sort of email from somebody who had problems with their pen. Um, they couldn't actually fill the pen. So what we're going to do is show you how to fill this particular pen. And what is this particular pen? Nice and simply, look at that. Again, a pen from my recent pen haul. Um, what we have here for you is a Schaefer Snorkel and this one is the Statesman. As you people know, there's many different variations so we're not going to go into, into the variations. Just suffice to say, as I say, this one being the Statesman and this one made in Australia. And obviously, as we said, um, it's a snorkel. The date of the pen from very early 1950s, maybe around about sort of 1952. Um, as I said, it's a snorkel, which we'll show you in a moment. And it comes in this particular one, comes in this classic black with gold filled trim and this sort of quite a large cap band, as you can see there. The very recognizable clip to the to the cap there with the again very recognizable white dot to the very top of the cap let's take you to the sort of barrel imprint first of all and there we have it made in Australia Schaefer Pen Company maybe does it say limited I'm not particularly sure but a lovely clear imprint as you can see the size of it capped is approximately 141 millimeters capped around the diameter of the barrel um, it's a nice 11 millimeters in diameter now this model as we said is the statesman and this model came in numerous different colors again classic black they came out in burgundy they came out in numerous pastel colors uh, there's a lovely peacock blue, a buckskin tan, um, a lovely mandarin orange colour as well, um, sage green and a red colour as well. So that's just some of the colours that this particular model came in. Let's unscrew the cap for you. Let's show you a couple of twirls, show you the pen in different angles. I fully restored this pen as you saw, well for you people that watch regular, this one came in a recent pen haul, um, as I say it's fully restored and it's ready, ready to go. There we go, there's the section and there's the nib. As you can see it's got a lovely, what we term as the Triumph nib and this one is, let's bring it a little bit closer, hopefully you can see it. It has what we term as a, well, as I say, a Triumph nib. It's a Schaefer's Palladium Silver Australia nib. Absolutely gorgeous nibs these are. They're sort of one of my favourite nibs. There's a sideways view of it. And as you can see, it's what we term as a sort of a wrap round nib. And there's the section there. And as we mentioned earlier, it's a snorkel fill pen. You can see the snorkel there just hiding in the feed underneath. Okay, so that's the pen. Very brief, um, a very brief review. Lovely pens to hold, very comfortable. It's got this slight sort of like a knurling pattern, if you like, to the to the section there which makes it lovely and comfortable to hold and to write with okay so that's a sort of brief review as far as the pen's concerned how does the pen actually work how does it fill now as i say we had i had a someone saying well i've got a Schaefer snorkel and it doesn't fill every time i pull the uh, the the plunger tube um it doesn't it doesn't fill well, first of all, any pen that you get, the Schaefer Snorkels, first of all, they need to be thoroughly serviced, as in this particular case. 
they need to have the point washers inside here replaced they need to have a new sack fitted inside because most of them tend to sort of solidified they also need a new o-ring to the end of the barrel here and last but not least within the plunger knob there there's also a rubber seal or washer as well so if your pen's not working generally what it will need is a full service assuming now that we've actually serviced the pen how do we fill it nice and simply what we do we turn the plunger knob here and if you keep an eye just here we'll see this snorkel tube extend from the feed okay and then if we screw it back again you see it goes back into into the nib or into the feed now when you unscrew this or to extend the snorkel what you will hear is a little clicking noise so let's be quiet and hopefully you can hear that okay I'm sure you could hear that so that click there indicates that it's fully extended and what we do we simply pull out the snorkel tube like so now for this person that emailed me said oh I can't fill it every time I pull the tube it doesn't fill well quite simply the Schaefer, well Schaefer, the Schaefer snorkel pens they do not fill by pulling the snorkel tube they fill by pressing it down okay so if you're pulling it you will not fill the pen and you may actually harm the pen as well so there we go we've got the um, the snorkel tube fully extended ready to fill so let's bring on the ink now at this point what we do we simply dip the snorkel tube there as you can see we simply dip that little area or the the tube into the ink and we press down on this snorkel tube in one swift action and what I mean by that is this okay it's just a swift action and you may have actually heard this sort of air coming out of the out of the valve at the end there okay I'm hoping you can hear that but let's dip the tube into the ink and press down in one quick action as we've done there we leave it in for a few for a few seconds that'll do us and then what we do we simply screw or turn the knob so the snorkel tube goes back into the feed so we've now got ink inside well hopefully inside the sack and how it actually works is by pressing down on the sh on the snorkel tube the air inside is compressed which in turn compresses the sack inside once it hits a little area at the end of the tube which has got a little recess the air then um, is sort of normalized around the sack inside and that in turn allows the sack to expand to the original position okay so nice and simply the snorkel pens they fill by pressing down on the snorkel tube only and not by pulling on the snorkel tube let's bring on some paper and let's see if the pen writes and how it writes because I've just serviced it yesterday and what you're seeing is what I see so what we have is a Schaefer a Schaefer snorkel and as we said
this model because we've got the palladium open triumph nib is the statesman and again from around 1952 It's a lovely writer, I would say writing with, yeah, on a sort of, on the fine side of medium, I would say. Does it have any flex? Well, to be quite honest with you, I do not expect it to have any flex because these Triumph nibs, they are quite a hard, well, not a hard, should I say, they're actually a stiff nib, so the answer is no no flex but a lovely writer so there you go there's a writing sample a lovely writer nice and smooth writing as you'd expect from a nice serviced snorkel fountain pen now at this point what we're going to do, we're going to empty the pen and then we'll flush it out so I'll show you that. So what I'm going to do is again unscrew the plunger knob to hear the click as you could hear there. I'm going to pull out the plunger tube and as you can see while I'm doing this I'm doing it over the ink so we don't get any drops everywhere. So press down firmly okay and hopefully you could hear that I'm just going to do it once more so what we'll do let's pop that ink to one side and then what we'll do let's bring on some water once again pull out the plunger tube and as you can see as I pull it out you get droplets of ink so that's why it's recommended you do it over some tissue over the ink or whatever so again let's press down firmly there we go leave it a few seconds let's pull the plunger out again and again be careful because there you go that's what happens let's uh, push it down firmly again and look at that Let's do it once more, bubbling in the water which is what we want, pull out the plunger, you can see a little bit pops out so be careful and then push down firmly again, okay let's just do it one more time for you so you can see it so press down firmly, you can hear that lovely bubbling noise which is what we want to hear. If we pull out the plunger again, there you go, you can see a little bit coming out, so be careful. And again, press down firmly on the plunger. And there you go, you can see it squirts out for quite a distance. So, what I'm going to do is screw the plunger knob, you can see again, the snorkel retracts back into the feed let's put the water to one side we'll give it another couple of flushes off camera but there we have it a gorgeous Schaefer Snorkel Statesman in this lovely black colour made in Australia fully serviced and working so I hope you've enjoyed the video as much as I enjoy showing you these pens and showing you how they actually work. Don't forget, leave a comment down below, don't be shy. Have you subscribed? If not, why not subscribe now? And don't forget people, yeah, some people think it's all over, but no, it's not quite. Please stay safe. But for now, I'll just say bye-bye for now.